hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created storage service to store the jwt and user details in our angular application and in today's video we will create role based navigation bar for our admin and customer role and after this we will create a method for logout so let's get started so in our angular application we will open app.component.ts file and in this component we need to create variables to store the user which is logged in so we will create a variable and we will name this variable as is customer logged in and the data type of this will be boolean and we will initialize the value in it by calling our user storage service dot is customer logged in method and after this we will create another variable and we will name this as is admin logged in and the data type of this variable will be boolean as well and we will set the value in it by calling user storage service dot is admin logged in and after this we need to update the values in these variables on the router change event and to do this we will create constructor and in this constructor we need to inject router so we will write private and we will name this as a router and after this we will mention a router and we will import it from angular slash router and after this we will create ng on init method for this component and in the body of this ng on init we will use our router and we will call dot events and after this we will subscribe the events and we will name it as event and after this we will write an arrow function and in this function we will write if condition and we will check our event and after this we will call constructor dot name is equals to and we will compare it with a string navigation end and if it is true then only we will update the values in our is customer logged in and is admin logged in variable and to do this we will mention is customer logged in and after this we will use user storage service and we will call is customer logged in method and after this we need to update the value of is admin logged in so we will mention this dot is admin logged in is equals to user storage service dot is admin logged in and with this our role functionality is completed now we need to create a method to log out and we will name this method as logout and in this method first of all we need to remove the token and user from the storage and then we need to redirect the user to the login page and to remove the token and user we will use user storage service and we will call a method sign out and after this we will use our router and we will call a method navigate by url and for the path we will set slash and with this the code in the app.component.ts file is completed now let's save this file and let's open our app.component.html file and in this file we need to add if condition on this ng cider tag so we will mention static ng if and we will show these register and login buttons only if the user is not logged in so we will mention not is admin logged in and not is customer logged in and after this we need to create ng ciders for the admin and customer so let's copy this ng cider tag and let's paste it here and after this we will update our ng if and we will mention is admin logged in and after this we need to update these buttons and for the icon we will mention apartment and for the text we will mention rooms and after this we will update the router link and we will mention slash admin slash rooms and after this we will update the login button and for the icon we will pass pull request and for the text we will set reservations and for the router link of the reservations we will mention slash admin slash reservations and we don't have these router links yet but we will create them in the future and after the reservations button we need to create a logout button so we will copy this li tag and we will paste it here and after this we will remove this router link and we will use click event and on the click we will call a method log out and after this we will update the icon and we will mention log out and at the end we will replace the reservations text to the log out and with this the sidebar for the admin is completed now let's copy this ng cider tag again and let's paste it here 
and after this we will update the condition and we will show this ng cider only if the customer is logged in and after this we will update the router link and we will mention slash customer slash rooms and after the rooms we need to show the bookings button to the customer so we will replace this reservations with the bookings text and for the router link we will mention slash customer slash bookings and with this the sidebar for the customer is completed as well now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and as you can see on the login page of our application we can see the buttons for register and login now let's enter the details of our admin user and after this let's right click on the page and let's click on inspect and after this we will open the console and now let's click on this login button and as you can see we got the token and the user role is admin now let's update the route and we will mention slash test and after this let's hit enter and as you can see our sidebar got updated and now we can see the buttons for room reservations and logout and after this let's click on this logout button and as you can see we got redirected back to our login page and after this let's add the details for the customer and after this we will click on this login button and as you can see we got logged in as customer now let's update the route and let's mention test and as you can see our sidebar got updated and now we can see the buttons for rooms bookings and logout and now let's click on this logout button again and as you can see we got redirected to the login page and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create modules for admin and customer and after this we will write the code to redirect the user to their dashboards by checking their role after the login